have a little bit of trouble with the Democratic Party at the moment. Okay, what, what, what exactly is your issue with them? Well, I think they're a little soft. Previously on Young Politics. I really wanted to do a show like this for personal reasons. There's something about spending years in Hollywood that can put even the most grounded person out of touch with reality. I definitely gotta get to know them one by one. Even taking it a step further, I think we can begin to find out why there's such a large population of people our age who don't vote. Um, so a libertarian is someone that believes in sticking to the Constitution. I don't think that the government should have a say in personal drug use. Everybody to have the same opportunity, the same rights, regardless of who you love. I mean, we're just like everybody else. Palm trees, shopping, and limousines. You never know what you might see on the streets of Hollywood. Try a set of horse cops, spending taxpayers' money, and working hard. L.A. or Milwaukee, I love it. Do that. <laughs> it's Millie Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Exactly. Okay, so they're just friendly, huh? The horses are too. <laughs> my production team was taking a short break before meeting up with Marissa. Now my cameraman for the day, the fearless Mac Hodges, was super ready to get the horse cops to talk politics and give an opinion about the previous presidential debates. Oh boy. Come on, dude. You don't want your political views? What about an individual opinion? Yeah, it has to be changed. You'd have to have another outfit on. Uh. Now, Mac would make a great politician. He's bold enough to ask questions in sticky situations, and he doesn't give up. So they really won't let y'all have an opinion of your own? Eh, wrong answer. Not in uniform? Because you can't even say if you're for more money for police or not. <laughs> right. Police should always get more money. I just want more money. Well, we're wearing, the, we're wearing the uniform. It represents the city, and they're saying you can't speak for the city. That All that. Hi, Marissa. It's April. Hi. Hi. What's funny? I was like, is this one being recorded? <laughs> yep. It is. So, listen, have you made it to the park yet? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just sitting and reading. Uh, listen, I'm on my way. Do you have your yoga clothes on? I do have my yoga clothes on, so get excited. Hi, Marissa. Hey, Paul. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Um, I just really want to know a little bit about you, like where you're from. Okay. So what's, what's this about? It's my favorite. I think it's one of the best romances. I, I just love this. Are you like all oh, love and airy? Um, sometimes I am. There is a bit of romance in there. I love that. So yeah. <laughs> romantic. I went to undergrad at UC Irvine in Orange County. What did you study? I studied political science and theater. Political science. So is that where you first got your first spark? I think... I was interested in politics, at least on a small scale, as a kid. My parents are not very political. It's not like they're, we don't talk about it around the dinner table. It was not anything no? like that. Not at You're all. You're not like eating like meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Not at all. <laughs> like it just, it never came up. But then every now and then the, the news was always on. It really did fit in. And I had a, a really great high school in Indiana and they had us, um, they gave us an opportunity to work the polls on election day. And it was an amazing experience to sit there and be able to just be like, I'm a part of the democratic process. Even if I'm just standing out here handing out, you know, party literature, or if I'm actually inside working with both, it was a great experience, and it kind of gave you this sort of ownership. My, my, my big reason for doing this show was to show how everyone comes from a diverse background, um, and, and I think everyone's background has plays into either how active they are or how maybe not active they are. So, so why do you think more young people, like, you know, are, are not as engaged? You know, I think there is this sort of sense of, it doesn't affect me. I'm not an adult yet. I can live my life sort of like, yeah, life's a party. You'll see. <laughs> you know? And what incident this year happened in the U.S. and our country that was disturbing to you? I mean, I think the Citizens United case, it was just a really interesting thing to see this sort of shift in, oh, let's talk about not spending a lot of money on campaigns and suddenly we're going to make it a blanket. Let's just spend as much as we want.
Okay. Okay, so I've lived in LA for a few years now, but I have not done yoga. Okay, so we'll do we'll do tree, which is pretty classic. And I'm supposed to think while I'm doing this, yeah. right? I mean, you can hold it. The teachers forgot about us, and I'm like, I'm holding tree. Oh, wow. I'm really good at tree. Let me see if I can hold Ooh, tree. Yeah. Ooh, tree. Ooh, tree. Come on. We'll try to dance her. So, we're going to kick into your hand. Kick into my hand. What do you mean, kick into my hand? As I fall over. Oh, <laughs> Romney was really, you know, he was a little hyper. Yeah. I felt like he was really like, you know, he needs to do this dance move. <laughs> I'm this? feeling really thinner. <laughs> I am. I'm, so we'll try bridge. Oh, goodness. This is like the modern dance move. And this was a fun. Takes you back to childhood. Marissa is definitely her own woman, and getting to know Marissa taught me more about the Citizens United case and yoga. Marissa, take a little yoga to the poles. Take a little yoga to the poles. Till next time.